Hey guys, and welcome to Doing Things Dan's Way. So today I have a, a, just a fun little quick thing here. My wife has a complaint about this type of uh, dryer where you pull out this guy and you clean it out. Okay, that's great and all. Okay. <coughs> but if you look down inside here, uh, take a look. There's all kinds of dust and debris and stuff down inside here that it does not come out when you pull this guy out. So how do you get deeper in there I mean, the instructions say it's even a fire hazard to have extra excess lint around. So in this case, what I'll show you really quickly is it just takes a couple of screws from the inside to pull apart the mechanism here to give you much better access to the inside of your dryer. So let me show you that. This is doing things Dan's way. So tools for this job, a simple Phillips screwdriver. That's all you're gonna need. Uh, and a little bit of dexterity because you're gonna have to have your head inside here. So let's switch to a uh, camera angle inside. Well, hey there, how's it going? <laughs> okay, so uh, this will be a little bit different and my voice is gonna sound very different in here. Uh, this might be almost like a shower experience with a nice low end. So what we're gonna do is get all access to this screw, these two screws, and this screw right here and that, that I'll show you how to pull these pieces off. One last one. So now that we have those four screws out, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna push out on it and uh, see what we find here. Now the screws are still in. I'll go ahead and take those out. Now this is a moisture sensor, I believe. And what you're gonna find is there's all kinds of fuzz and debris stuck in here. And look at all this. And it's probably best just to leave this wire on there. It's not coming off easily, so I'm just gonna manually knock some of this off for now. This is the fun part. This here, I lift, lift up on it, and this comes away. Now, take, take note, there's a felt little pad right here, and this pad goes on the inside of this cavity. It doesn't go between the metal here and the metal here. It has to go back inside. So even while you're holding it here, it's kind of wise to go ahead and try putting it back together and just see like, okay, that's how it feels. That's where it belongs. Because if you do it later, you know, half an hour from now, chances are you'll kind of forget like, okay, how did this go again? So it's always a good idea to like, okay, just practice reassembling it. You know, it's like that, like that. And this guy came in over the top. And there's some little places in here that you'll see where pieces have to kind of come together. So just practice the idea of putting it back together and that way you're confident that you can put, you know, just reassemble it. But that's really all there is to it. So that comes off and it comes off easier the second time. We can take these pieces out and then take a look down here what we're able to see. You can see there's all kinds of bits and pieces and stuff that was just stuck down here that we really couldn't get to. So I can use the crevice tool on the vacuum now and I can suck all of this out and clean it out. If you have pressurized air, uh, this would be a great time to like blow it all out and have it just get blown completely outside the next time the cycle runs.
Okay, and that's that. Now let's see what the damages were. Okay, so now that we're all vacuumed out, let's put this back together again. Okay, step one, we're gonna put this back in. Remember the black felt goes down in the cavity part. And some the wire needs to be, yeah, this wire needs to be loose right here. Okay, and then this guy. Goes right about there, but we need to get the other part in first here. Okay, I'm just gonna go clips in place. Once it's flush all the way in, oh, this little flap has to be down the side too. It was up above just a minute ago. Okay, that should all go together. As long as it's all lined up, we can put the screws back in. Now, the screws are going into sheet metal, so you're gonna to wanna to be really gentle with them. We're not gonna screw them down until like we can't turn it anymore because we will uh, strip out the, the uh, metal really quickly. So I'm going to totally just turn, get a little tight until they're snug. Okay. Good all the wiggle, make sure it's not loose. I think I was a little too generous or easy on it to go in a little tighter. Okay. Let's make sure our filter goes in. And that's that. We'll see on the outside. Okay, and there we have it. That wasn't so hard, was it? One screwdriver, four screws, and just a little bit of gentle time to pull it apart. And my goodness, look how much stuff I got out of this. Look at, the, look at this pile of debris that was hiding down inside this machine. Now this wasn't in contact with the clothes, but it's not a good idea to have a buildup like this of, uh, of lint and, and dust and who knows what else in here. Uh, this, is, this is pretty amazing. And this machine is not ridiculously old either, in all honesty. Uh, six or seven years at most. So you can see what kind of buildup gets past even this filter, which is really surprising. So anyway, that's, uh, that's as easy and, and as hard as that is. I mean, it literally took longer for me to record this video and set up the camera than it took to do the job. So I'm sure you can do it. So get out there and try. And it links in the description below, uh, not only for a free month of Amazon Prime, uh, but also links to just a simple screwdriver if you don't have one already, uh, as well as the vacuum cleaner we know and love. Uh, the shark is pretty awesome. Uh, so yeah, you can hit up uh, Amazon links down below. If you like what you see here, there's a couple other videos of just DIY stuff that you can hit on. You can also smash on my face up here and uh, subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. And a thumbs up would be very much approved. That uh, tells everyone that this was a video that's worth uh, worth, worth following. It's, it's, it's something that was easy to do. So shoot me a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. So until next time, guys and gals, be blessed.